Well, hello, mathematicians. Today we are talking about how to find the area of a square or rectangle. So here I am drawing my rectangle. And quick reminder, a rectangle is a quadrilateral. It's a kind of quadrilateral where you have the opposite sides and they are equal in length and parallel. And then you have another set of sides that are also equal in length and parallel. And all the four angles are right angles. So that means that they are the same um, angle measure. And so this is my rectangle here. Now, what exactly is the area? The area is all that space inside, all of this space inside. Um, and that is different than the perimeter. The perimeter is the length of all the sides around, right? But the area is different. Oops, I accidentally erased that. Is all this space, all of this space inside. And so um, we can use different units of measurement for, to measure area. So let's pretend that this is a picture of a rectangle that is, let me pretend it's um, a football field. How about that? Okay, here we have a football field. And I don't actually know how long uh, football fields are, but let's pretend something like this side, this is the width. And sometimes we just use a W. And let's say the width is 10, um, actually let's pretend the width is five yards. This is the, actually, let me spell it out. Five yards, the abbreviation for yards is YD. And let's pretend that, and here we have up here the length, which is the longer side. The abbreviation is just an L. And let's pretend the length is 10 yards. Yeah, let me write that a little more clearly, 10 yards. Now, the straightforward formula for calculating the area is length times width. Let me write that out. Area equals length times width. And another way that people write this is area equals LW. And when you have, you probably haven't learned this yet, but when you have two letters next to each other, um, it means that they are multiplied together. So length times width, let's do it. Well, we know the length is 10 yards and we know the width is five yards and what's 10 times five, it's 50. And so the way that we note that down is the area is 50 yards squared. Oh, wait, I'm running out of space. Another way to write that is 50 yards squared and we you can see I put that it's like a small notation up at the right of where I wrote yards and that means squared let's do a couple more I've got this other rectangle here and we've got three meters M stands for meters on one side and seven meters is the length so again, this is the width, which is the shorter um, side, and then the length is here, which is kind of the longer side, okay? And if area equals length times width, A equals L times W, we'll say, um, then the formula means A equals seven times three, which equals 21. And now we look at our unit and it's meters. So then we would put meters squared. That wasn't so bad. And this also applies for squares. So let's draw a square. Let's draw a square. Let's pretend this is two inches and the abbreviation for inches is IN. Um, and then let's pretend uh, that this is also two inches on this side. Um, and remember in a square all four sides are equal and the opposite um, sides are parallel all the angles are the same so we've got a square here 
And what's cool about a square is that the area is just two times two. It's always, um, I mean, the sides are always the same length. So um, even if you didn't know what one of the sides what was, let's say you only had one side, you would still be able to find the area because all the sides are the same. But let's figure this one out. So area equals width times length, which in this case is the same. It's two inches times two inches, which is four inches squared. Now, as I was saying before, let's pretend you have a square. So one more, there we go. And let's pretend that you only know what, let's pretend this is four inches. Uh, let's pretend you only know what one side is, but you are told that it is a square. And that means that you can infer or understand um, from the information that all the other sides are going to also be four inches. So now you are able to calculate the perimeter and the area, um, but we are learning only about area right now. So we're going to do length times width. So that's one side times the other side in a square, where our unit is inches. So we've got area equals four times four, which equals 16 inches squared. And that is all for today, my friends. Until next time.